Are you the type of golfer who tends to struggle with their putting or maybe even the, the type of golfer says, man, your stroke looks fantastic, but at the end of the day, when you get done, you just simply don't make a lot of putts? Well, you know what? I'm PJ Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for the Todd Cope Golf Academy and US Golf TV. And today I'm gonna to share with you a concept when it comes to putting that I guarantee you've never heard before. It's a real secret and I know it's gonna help you improve your stroke. Now the best part about this drill that we're gonna talk about here today is it's simple and it's easy to do and I think it's gonna really open your eyes to what a good stroke actually looks like. Now with all of our stuff, we love to hear from you. All right? I love, I, I mean I respond I think to almost every comment that somebody leaves on one of our golf tips. So if you've got a question, be sure to type it in the comments below and also hey, be sure to subscribe. If you wanna play better golf, we got content coming out every week that is helping people all over the globe play better golf. Now today though, we're talking about putting. All right, and you've probably heard this before, right? The putting motion is, it's a pendulum motion, right? It has equal back, equal through. People talk a lot about the length of the stroke, the rhythm of the stroke, the shape of the stroke. Okay, these are all things you've heard about, but here's one thing I guarantee you've probably never heard about, and that is what I would like to call like the angle of attack, right? Angle of attack. You've heard about that when it comes to driving. We've done videos on that. If you haven't seen that, you should check that out. Angle of attack. You want to hit the golf ball further with your driver, you got to hit up on it. We've, we've covered that already. If we haven't, be sure, if you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. But angle of attack or the angle the putter is traveling when it comes to putting is just as important as it is with the, is, is when you're hitting a drive off the tee box. So here's how the drill works. Basically, all you need is your putter, a Sharpie and your golf ball. You're gonna take the Sharpie, put it, I would say, depending upon the length of, of the putt, maybe eight, six to eight inches kind of back and behind the golf ball, and you're just gonna make a stroke back, and you just have to make sure that your putter works above the Sharpie on the back stroke, and then does not hit it on the forward stroke. And when you do that, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna change the angle that the putter is traveling at the moment of impact. Now, a lot of you, you might hit it on the way back. You might be keeping the putter too low going back, which can cause the ball to hop up and skid, or maybe you're hitting it on the way down, which is also causing you to make too much of a descending blow. All right, now, I like to see the putter on a slight upward arc through the moment of impact, but that's a little bit deep, and we're not gonna cover all those things. If you just do this drill, it's gonna help you. So, if you're the type of golfer who feels like your stroke is pretty good, You've been told that by golf instructors, your friends, but you don't feel like you're making the putts that you should be making, this could be the answer. So it's a simple drill, involves a Sharpie, a golf ball and your putter, and I think can open up your eyes to a new concept when it comes to putting. So, hey, if you like this drill, let's hear from you. If you don't like it, be sure to leave a comment. We do our best to answer all those. Be sure to subscribe, and I know if you try this drill out, it's gonna help you improve your putting.